quei vanno in tanto da occhio meglio lo in tanto da occhio che ho sentito non ho poco sempre più o o quello da io from there I'm from it's about 40 to 50 
permit. Ministry of Internal Affairs at the Department of Youth. We already uh, filed a law. Our national new policy is already in place. So it's a collaborative report and policy that based on the edition and other messages that came in for all the veterans. So that was maybe a uh, success in yesterday for my fellow brothers or sisters. We've been working closely with PCC as well. So we work closely with Georgia Group, which is an NGO that focuses on climate change. And also other youth organizations that can help in funding that's, that's our most problem that we face. We have a lot of activities that we want to do, but it's just a lack of funding financially. But still we try to fundraise within ourselves, came up with ideas and activities that we can do at least for the community. And to wrap up, with that, there's also some challenges that we face. So every year, so I, I, I guess this is our common problem here in my community that is migrating, migration on people. So you can see the number of you threatened from the other mountains and the middle itself is getting less. But when the youth run from the state came in, it's getting more. Which is not a problem, but still, if we want to do activities, then we want to pay back to the community. We cannot lack of manpower, because there is no much youth around to help. Moving on to UCC. So, last year, there was only two micro regions right from the Micronesia region. One was from Kiribati, and one uh, I, and I was the other one from Australia. It is unfortunate that we didn't have much from the Micronesia. And there were some issues that came up during our previous activity with the youth about regards to taking the role of leading the group, the youth group in the business. So they offer as a token of appreciation, they offer the role to the host country. So for example last year, look at Antonia, Mea was the host. So automatically they will be the president of the university. Which is unfair for me, I stood up and had my voice because I don't think those DPCC will be a possible for us. And it's a large number, this is a really technical, serious, one week long meeting. And from myself, I what I would say that's not fair. Because if I have the capability of leading a group, then I will not be able to take the role because I won't be hosting the PCC from 
maybe looking for for the future, if we go see. And we all gather together for one, two, two days long. And we came up with a solution for ourselves. And we presented it in the main general assembly. Thanks to Robert Mountain for pointing me as the youth rep, especially for representing JRT on behalf of the youth. And how many minutes now? To wrap up, um, we are a small country, as I mentioned, as a Pacific. Although we are small, but I really think that youth should is really necessary for us to have youth voice around the table. Because we came yesterday and listened to the two presentations mainly about youth, 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 they have a big responsibility. And my recommendation for the General Assembly. Agree. If we can have one day pre assembly so we can meet together, it's a small group, so it will be easy to handle. So we can have come up with more solutions for our problem and also ideas that can help each other. So we can share what we need. Thank you, and I'm up. Mr. Mayor, I see. Thank you. I'd like to add more, especially on the issue of decline in young migration. You know, we are reminded of the British Prime Minister, Professor Mitch, stopping people from going abroad. We even raise up the price of hope and skill. Thank you. 